In this video, we will continue to introduce the applications under the Transmit main menu. Jammer The Jammer on Hacker Fage4M is a powerful but highly legally risky application. It emits strong broadband noise signals in specific wireless frequency bands such as 2.4 GHz, 5.8 GHz. GSM and GPS to drown out all normal communications within those bands, thereby achieving the goal of blocking interference to nearby wireless connections. Essentially, it is a radio frequency signal shielder, but its use is a serious illegal act in almost all countries and regions. It is only allowed to be used in completely isolated radio frequency environments for safety research and educational testing. Its abuse is strictly prohibited in open environments. To enter this application, there are three tabs corresponding to range 1, range 2, and range 3. These options can be enabled individually and run sequentially. Clicking load range will display the frequency range stored in the fragment directory on the SD card. Here you can select the frequency range you need. Of course, you can also manually input your frequency range, such as the starting frequency, center frequency, ending frequency, and width. This type is the type of interference signal, including random CMSW sweep, FM tone, random FSC. Speed is the rate at which the interference signal moves within the selected frequency band. Hop is the interval of the signal's transmission jump in the 1 MHC segment, with 6 values ranging from 10 milliseconds to 10 seconds. TX is the transmission time of the Jammer program. Sleep is the sleep time between transmissions. JIT changes the deviation of the signal from the true periodicity and is used to increase the spectral density of the interference signal. It can be set between 1 and 60. Now I will demonstrate to you how the Jammer interferes with the Wi-Fi signal. Open your computer settings and check your router's address, the frequency band and channel where the network is located. For example, my Wi-Fi is in the 5 GHz frequency band and channel 3D6. The center frequency of channel 3D6 is 5180 MHz, so we set the center frequency of the jammer to 5180 MHz. The bandwidth setting can be 20 MHz theoretically, but to ensure the effect, it can be set to 80 MHz. After completing the settings, click start and the interference signal will be sent. Now open the command line window of your computer and input the pin command and the router's address to check the network connectivity. As shown, there is no problem accessing the router now. Then we click start on the jammer to start sending the interference Wi-Fi signal. After a few seconds, you can see a request time out on your computer. Click stop on the jammer and after a few seconds, the Wi-Fi signal will recover. Morse. The Morse application can transmit Morse code information in either ionization wave or frequency modulation mode. The Morse application converts the input text into dot dash sequences based on an internal code table, then controls the RF generator to generate corresponding short and long RF signals according to the sequence rules, and finally transmits these signals along with standard time intervals through the antenna. Foxhunt can enable the selected preset message strings in the same row, totaling 11. Speed is the transmission speed per minute. Tune determines the frequency of the FM, ranging from 0 to 9999. The modulation methods include continuous wave or frequency modulation. Loop is used to enable the loop playback function of the message, with values of off or from 5 seconds to 5 minutes. You can click set message to output your message content. After After completing the settings, click start to start sending the signal. We can use the audio application in the other hacker Fage4M to receive this signal. 
after audio, we must ensure that the Morse application and the audio application use the same frequency. Click start in the Morse application and then you can hear the different tones in the audio receiver. Spectrum Painter Spectrum Painter is an extremely experimental and artistic application. Its core function is allowing you to draw visible patterns, text or lines on the spectrum analyzer by controlling the frequency and duration of the radio frequency signal. To enter this application, click Load Image. You can select a 24-bit BMP image and store it in the spectrum directory, then select it. If you enable the loop function, the information will be continuously sent. Click the small icon next to loop and the image information will be sent. Open the StirSharp software and make sure the sending frequency of Spectrum Painter is consistent with the receiving frequency of StirSharp. Then click send and you will be able to see the restored image on StirSharp. You can also choose to send text messages. Click text, click set message, enter your text message, and then send the signal. We can see a prominent signal peak in the spectrum graph of Stirsharp and the restored text message in the waterfall graph.